Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Milk Lover and thank you for joining me here. So, uh, today we're going to continue playing as the Chicken Itza, or P Chicken Pizza, as we are counting down to the day of Ka'an, in which we think we will have a fairly good harvest. In the meantime, we have our Queen, even though I know, I know she's not our Queen, but we have our diplomat, Clara Guzman, being the head of the state. I guess Tehun means, like, diplomat or something, so... Yeah, yeah. Sebastian invited her to the capital to become his Tahun, a diplomat come schemer, a title she retains in pride to this day. Ah, oh, Clara. Oh, my goodness. Clara Mamacita. Anyways, uh, yeah, so right now we are currently waiting for Deal with Ejercito, which is the military faction that doesn't really like us that much, in which we are basically pr probably going to purge them. We can reduce the Ejercito to border patrol. Or we can purge the ambitious officers. It sounds like, regardless, either one I take. That might not be good for us overall. For the one on the left here, for reducing them to border patrol, we lose 10% recruitable population, which we already have. We're only at 76%, which isn't good. But we can get rid of broken imperialism probably later on. Purge the ambitious officers, we lose division organization, as well as planning speed, as well as max planning. Uh... We get more encryption, which is okay. We get the same amount of factory output, but the one on the left, we get more defense. We both get consumer goods. I don't want to lose organization, manpower. We have 800,000 some manpower, or at least core population. So I don't think manpower is really going to be too much of an issue if... I mean, I can always raise conscription, which will hurt us. But if I can get to civilize, then I could probably start using some power armor or robots. Probably robots more than power armor since we already have fat cop forces, but these are things I must keep in mind. Right now, you are the spec ups. You are defending down here, which is good and fine. Um, yeah, let's keep them going on down here. And then we might build actually another army to help defend around here against Nueva Atslan, which I'm not super surprised I haven't declared war on anybody yet. But I am a, just a little bit, just because, yeah, they got a lot of divisions. Not a lot of manpower, but... Perhaps they have to wait until they get to Assault Upon the Wounds, in which they will get a war goal, or annex war goal, against Tierra de los Tzotzil. So, uh, right now we've got 157 political power. We currently get 1.25 a day, which is great. We cannot go to war economy. Kind of makes sense, though. Let's see. Countdown, we got three days left. Militarized society. Less stability, more weekly war support. No thanks. More stability for in, in exchange for weekly war support. Uh, actually, that's not bad. I could raise stability. Actually, well, that would only... If I do both of these propaganda efforts as well as political actions, I would only get more war, war support. You know, militarized system. Focus on the internal sphere might not be bad. What else do we have right now? Uh, let's let time go on for now since we're not really doing very much. Planes, can't really do much about that. Navy is good, but I'm not really researching a lot of things in my Navy either. So, yeah... Justify War Goals times, we might need to do that eventually. But... Tahun Clara Guzman. Ah. War support, infrastructure... Nah, I mean, that's okay. I might do that. And for tank designers. Combat and support robots. Tank, tank. Power armor. Hmm. Mm, I mean, I'll probably use robots eventually, because we'll probably, probably lose us manpower if I use robots. But, you know what? I don't mind losing a little bit of war support right now for stability, because we could probably use it. So, let's do that first. Yeah, at least it's only... Weekly war support goes down by only 0.5, which is better than a full point. Ooh, and... The day of Ka'an, it seems like a blink, blink of an eye since the last day of Ka'an, but another year has passed, and so the time to reap what we have sown is here once again. Up and down the empire, peasants are totally... Tolling, toiling in the fields to bring in this year's crops before it spoils, and our administrators expect we will get our cut of the crop before the week is out so that we can feed our own armies and cities. Ooh, next year's day of Ka'an looks poor. Oh, no. Oh, I have, to, I have to do a sacrifice. Um. Yeah, I have to do this. I don't want this to be poor, so... Let's do that. It's going to hurt our manpower by, like, 20,000, probably 22,000. Since we have like 21 states, 22 states, and we lose like 100 manpower for each one, and we lose stability. Oh, but we got more stability right now. Not bad. Oh, and this lost us. We, we lost some manpower from that. All right. Well, we dealt with the Ejercito, but what are we really going to do to them? We could do Death of Glory, but I'll do Death of Glory after we do reduce the Ejercito to border control, 
or patrol, as well as purge the ambitious officers. I don't want to lose organization. I really don't. But I also don't want to lose recruitable population. Um, I like the defense on core territory, which isn't bad. But uh, the Ejercito have repeatedly shown profuse disloyalty, and so we must take a severe stance against them. The Ejercito should be stripped of its power in its entirety and relegated to a state of exile in the borderlands, or just purge the ambitious officers. Uh, repeatedly shown profuse disloyalty, but this is only due to their strong sense of discipline, a commendable feature. If we replace those the Ejercito answered to with loyalists, then they will surely follow. I don't want to do this, but I think I'm going to do this one. Planning speed, max planning, I don't really pay attention to that too much. It's only 10%, as well as division organizations, 10%. And yeah, you could say 10% for recruitable population, but I want to make sure that we have enough population as time goes on. So manpower, I think, is more of an issue for me than organization or... Uh, Output. But before we do that, right now our organization for this division is 58. That's pretty good. Uh, spec, spec Ops, 63. So we lose 10%. That's like 6. That goes down to like 57. And if we do like the division del Ejercito, we lose 10%. So it will be like 5.8. Still, that's not bad. I don't mind maybe losing 10%. Maybe we can make that up later, but let's do this one. Um, we're just going to replace the Ejercito with what we call Loyalists. Uh, let's see. Weekly War Sports going down. Oh, results of last year's harvest, that's not good. Weekly change goes down. And then weekly change plus one, which is good. We want as much stability as possible. I mean, who wants to live in an unstable nation? Hang Dogs was annexed by Kaiser's Legion, which is good because sometimes, I have seen this in several of my games, where when Kaiser goes to war with the Hang Dogs, the Hang Dogs just take out Kaiser completely. It's kind of ridiculous. Kind of nuts. Actually, what was that? Surrender, yeah. Monthly population minus 10.4%. Is there any way I could raise down this? It would be moderate? Oh, God, no. I don't want to end up in, like, a civil war here or something. Ooh, ships? Do I have an email? I've got several emails. Oh, whatever. Um, what are you guys up to? You were all training, which is good. You can go ahead and repair since I'm probably not going to... S okay, I'm going to send quite a few people to upgrade them. Ships. Um, what is this? Kind of garbage? Yeah, kind of garbage, to be honest with you. That's, oh my gosh, that's even worse. Yeah, they're both cutter holes, so that means that's a destroyer. That's terrible. Yeah, do that. Uh, battle cruisers, can I upgrade you to something else? There's nothing there. There's no naval ram. There's nothing there. Well, how long would that take? Yeah, whatever, do 25 days, but whatever. Um, seven, you can go ahead and repair, probably. Repair, repair. Hopefully we won't get into a war anytime soon, because if we do, eh, that wouldn't be very good for us to do that. Go ahead and upgrade as well. I, I don't really care that much. These ships are so bad that I don't really care that much. Do that. Um, put you at the bottom, actually. Let's go ahead and repair everything else first. These ships aren't great, so... Whatever. Time for some coffee. Ah, uh, man, I'm tired, guys. But, uh... Coffee can make things feel a little bit better. But yeah, with either one of these focuses, it says that our decision here will shape our military reforms. Choose carefully. The seemingly obvious choice here may not result in the reforms we would like. See, now if I did Border Patrol, they might come back stronger and try to take over the government. But if I purge ambitious, ambitious officers, they might just revolt anyway, so I don't know. So death or glory, the generals of the Ejercito have been nothing but trouble. However, if we purge them, we leave a gaping hole in our command structure. But if we don't, we risk a coup. So it's good maybe to purge the officers first, especially the loyalist officers, and do that first. Does anyone need upgrades? Some of you guys really need upgrades. Um, oh, you definitely need upgrades. We got plenty enough stuff, so go ahead and train for now. I don't think we're going to be in a war anytime soon. And even though I just said that, you never know. Go ahead and train, and you know what? You guys might as well train. Train yourselves to be the best. See, 1.3 political power a day. Not bad, not bad. Military society. No thanks, no thanks. Primitive radio, very primitive, but we get better reinforcement. We're done with that for now. Next up is resources. Don't need that yet. Energy cell gain per energy. I think we're doing okay. Resource efficiency, we're doing okay on that too. Mm, land doctrine, we are still doing. Specialized stuff. Let's go ahead and do special forces c capacity and multiplier, because why not? I might focus a little bit more on infantry stuff, maybe. But we'll definitely see what happens. Um, can I go to war with anybody? Oh, broken imperialism. I mean, if I have to go to war with somebody, it'll probably be Nueva Atslan. Maybe. Actually, Petro Chico. Um, 
People's Council. Yeah, if I go to war with these guys, they have a lot of manpower now. I don't know if I'd actually be able to kill them off, so let's not do that. We have Atsal oh, they're, now they're doing Salt Upon the Wounds. I want to see what happens with against Sol or uh, Sotzil. Basically, that's Sotzil. They should be able to hold out, but then again, you never know. It appears to me that there's only four waterways from the co co coffee people to over here. So, I mean, if the AI plays its cards correctly and smartly or intelligently, then so it can hold them off probably for the entire game. But, you know, it's AI we're talking about. Now for this, fighters are good, but I do want to use close air support eventually, but we can't really do anything about that. Um, mm, light aircraft. This ball just fighter stuff. Air equipment tech category. We might want to research some... Oh, no, we can only do research one flying thing at a time, so that really wouldn't help. What is this? Support the Ejercito? Well, we can't do that, obviously. Die Hard Reformer. Recast it as your seat, though. Well, I can't do anything there. That sucks. Well, there's really not much for me to do. I guess I'll get a little bit more political power gain. Yeah, we lose a little bit of war support. We can always get war support back. And we can improve our infrastructure if we need to. So, a little bit more political power. Sounds kind of nice. Alright, how are these soldiers training? They're getting a little bit of experience. Uh, Yurinta declared war on the Yampa. Who else is at war with anybody? 50% world tension. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, it just looks like... Tar walkers for Kanab. Sorrows, tar walkers. Ooh, flamethrowers. Nice. A little bit more of everything in general compared to grenades or dynamite. Oh, yeah. And we can't do anything over here because, well, we we travel. That's un that's a way of saying that we uncivilized. Uh, actually, you know, let's get some recon. I want to put recon on all my divisions. Well, all the main army divisions. That probably would be better. Dynamite gave us eight soft attack, while flamethrowers will give us... 12. Not a lot more. 75% reliability. 50%. Oh, that's that's a definitely that's definitely an upgrade in terms of reliability. Definitely an upgrade. Ooh, death or glory. The fate of the generals. The great generals of the Ejercito, led by Halak Huenik, Carlos Franco, have been locked up in the dungeon since the resolution of the power struggle. We should now work out their future. Three possible theories have been floated. Either executing them all in a show of force, executing just Halak Onik, or leaving them all to lead our armies under close supervision. The people bay for blood. Bay for blood, huh? But does the military take priority? We could execute them all, get some stability. Um, I like all these guys, I really do. But I'm going to make sure that no one can... Dang it. I went over time. That no one can rebel against us. Yeah, I'm not I'm not looking forward to a civil war. That's for like America and Kaiserreich, so we're just gonna go bye bye. Yeah, not all of them died. See, we have Stolar Water Woman here. Or is that Alma Arista? I'm gonna assume that's a woman. Or f at least female maybe. And we still have Tulip here. Tulip. Tulip. Nice. Um it's in revanchism. I'll replace broken imperialism with it's in revanchism, which is looks pretty nice. Uh, 30 days, that's not bad. And then we might do industrial modernization. Open up the world. Limited exports. Ooh. Is there anything up? I mean, we have stuff up north that we could do. But I'm going to save that for later. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of this. Unless we get to always false. Worshippers. Oh. Oh, claims. The mercenaries. Oh. Let's do that. Let's see what happens there. Ah, uh, well, at least we purged enemy forces. I mean, yeah, it's not ideal, but whatever. You know, things had to happen. Um, I don't want to use him because I hate politically connected. Even though that's better than before. I think it used to be like leader experience gain went down by like 25%. 10%? That's a little bit better. I guess I'll use you, but I don't know. That's still not great. So we, he's got explosives, and then these people down here have recon. Okay. Interesting. Well, I did say this w these would be our regular soldiers. I don't have any recon. Ooh, equipment scavengers return. We got some pipe guns, a little bit of manpower back. Some M1 Garands, basic uh, melee weaponry, some more army XP. All right, very nice, very nice. Very good. Um, What's going on? Cease fire on the border. Oh, let's stop training then. You're going to need a general. Uh, a panzer leader, assignment, reassignment, duration. I'd rather have a general than not have a general, so... Yeah, that should be good enough. I doubt anything will really happen here. A ceasefire on the border, but whatever. What? Oh, whatever. 
Okay, not do anything down there. All right. Last year's harvest. Well, Clara, you're now our queen for life. At least until maybe you pass away, but we'll see what happens about that. Look at that army XP. Very nice. Hmm, looks like we could really use a, a Theo de Marshall. We have 32 divisions of one, and then 1,991 of the other ones. No, I wish it was, but whatever. Um, new commander. Oh, it's a brilliant strategist. Juan Gomez. Hello. You don't really look like a Juan, but maybe I'm wrong. Aggressive assaulter. More break. Oh, more breakthrough. Yes. Oh, but more attack. I want to get both of these. Yeah, I definitely want to get offensive assaulter. That would be great. Ah. But I'm also joined here with my cat named Biki. He's lying down, sleeping next to my keyboard. On the other side of the keyboard where he usually sleeps. And we have Kane Formations. I think, it's how, I think that's how you pronounce it. Probably wrong about that. But my draws from many Wastelanders to our ranks. Effective Partisans. All right. Special Forces Capacity Multiplier plus 30%. That's all right. More divisions. Very good. Very good. Very nice, actually. Can I... No. I still can't change this division, which really sucks. But the f final push. Um, Reclaim Lost Bases. Er... er or Adentism in the Caribbean. It's in Revolution. All oh, nice. Or Revanchism, I mean. So we can't really do anything here because it's still a work in progress until the Gulf of Mexico update. Interesting. Further the fleet. Well, that doesn't sound like very much fun. If I can go to war with somebody, I would think I would think I would might want to do that. What is this? Marriage of Tehun and the Commandant. Hmm. I want to. I want them to be my servants, the worshippers. Actually, before we do anything else, the memory of empire. Ooh, what is that? Before I choose my own focus, I want to see what happens. As modifier, the legacy of the Atlani. Yeah, we've always made our own luck. Well, I did say that we would do industrial modernization next. That might be better. Ooh, every coastal province gains two levels of infrastructure, and every non-coastal state gets one level of infrastructure. Nice. Let's do that for infantry deck, because I could always expand upon that, as we are currently expanding upon our military. Let's go ahead and create another army group under Juan Gomez. Come over here, please. Thank you very much. And I could use another army general. And he is Andreas Zapata. Zapata. Are you related to one of Tlalocan's son? All right, well, whatever. Ooh. Nice. And we're going to start putting you up here. Well, maybe over here. All right, not much has gone on. A lot of reading and ceasefire or tensions on the tensions on the border. I'm not too worried about this. I mean, we've got 21 divisions here in total, so not too worried about that when they have four NCRs at war with the Rapids. Whatever, it's pretty normal. Mm. Gotta love that coffee. So, initiative failures in Nueva Atlan. And we I've said this before, so we got a little bit more political power. We got a lot of good stuff here. That's really good. Kaiser's Legion declared war on twin mothers. Ships are shipping. Go ahead and repair. We got 151 naval XP. That's so much. Um yeah, just kinda of waiting for things to happen. Let's see, who's in a faction? Kaiser's Legion is by itself. We have the Nevada Pact with New Reno. Obviously, the NCR, Western Brotherhood, with Arroyo, Northern League's up here, with Port Ma, Washington Brotherhood, as well as Old Country. Is Bellingham a part of that? No, they are not. Well, I mean, Nueva Atlan can go to war with Tierra de los Tzotzil, but I'm kind of waiting for to see what they will happen. If not, I'll just go with the worshippers. So, just to the south of us is a Tierra de los Tzotzil, a nation whose borders with us are defined only by the Rio Grijalva and the Rio Usu Masinta. Given their smaller religion, or their similar religion and ethnic makeup, it can be said that the divide between Itza and Sotzil is thin, if non existent. We must put into due consideration what, why exactly they are a separate nation and not simply a portion of our own. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I, I completely agree. Totally, totally agree. So, I'm going to take you guys, and if I have to break into Sotzil somehow, some way, we're all going to come to the south here. And we're going to push that hard. Or push that hard. Or push even further harder. Okay, this is not even working. Hold on. Um, let me see. Please. Thank you. Please. No go. Okay. 
Well, I think I did that way too many times, so. They're still getting down here anyway. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. The worshippers. So, the problem of Tierra de los Tutsil. Uh, they've always been a problem. During our first establishment, they practiced our culture with outside our rule. When we began expanding, they bitterly resisted us. When we finally integrated them through dyna dynastic web weaving and a fierce duel, they only declared independence in our weakest moment. Now we need to decide on a policy to deal with them once and for all. Um, the brought firmly into the fold. Well, let's take a quick look. Reintegration motions, demand annexation, or close yet separate. Hmm, I can't do that because I have not opted for democracy, for diplomacy, not democracy, but diplomacy. And this is opted for reintegration. Loyalty through fear. Oh, we can make things a core. I like that. But I just have to control the area. I like that. And actually, it looks like I have to do re reintegration for that. Loyalty through love. Strategic marriage? No way, I'm not going to have my woman ma be married off to you. Let's try diplomatic web weaving. Because we might be able to core them. Close? Oh, wait. I opted for... I did the wrong one. Crap. Oh, well, I can always core it later. Oh, well. Loyalty through love. I just want to annex them. You know what? You know what? Ah, uh, I can't justify on them. Through love? Huh. Am I allowed to marry more than one person at a time? I mean, Clara, I mean, she, I mean she's, she's got the good looks. So can I have, like, two husbands or something? Or, like, maybe three or four? Because I might marry Commandant Luis down here in Honduras. Hmm. Well, like I said, I made the wrong decision because I'm a little bit tired. As we probably all are. Hmm. And whenever you finish your coffee, you always want to wash your mouth out with water. Or something. Or mouthwash. I'm very surprised, though. That you guys haven't done anything against this enemy yet. Like, why not? Like, you hate them. Just go to war. Plenty of divisions, you know? Plenty of divisions. Please give me a war goal, please. Please let world tension just go up higher and higher and higher. Please, I need it higher and higher. Ooh. But we're still waiting. Still waiting. Ceasefire on the border. Not much is really going on. Close yet separate. Um, through, let's see, what does this say? Through, though division between... It's in and Sotel is a good is as good as arbitrary. There's no need to for extreme action, not when there's an easier option. Rather than integrate their people and lands into our nation, we could simply assume control over their nation while allowing the government a degree of a control and autonomy. Well, you're gonna be under me. Boy. You're gonna be under me. No matter what happens, I will control you. Uh ooh, let's get some more recon. And actually we can throw some recon onto our other divisions. Actually, you guys. I don't have enough army XP, god dang it. Go ahead and stop training. Um, you guys up north should be okay if you're guarding against Petro Chico. Okay, so Tzotzil swears fealty. As per our demands, the ruling class of Tzotzil has sworn fealty to Tahun Clara Guzman. We now have more or less total control of the country, ensuring they remain a friendly buffer state against any outside invasion. Awesome. Now they are our puppet. I could do loyalty through love. We could probably integrate them. We could join our two governments and cement the Tzotzil as eternal allies. I don't think so. I might just annex them like by giving them stuff or, you know, building stuff in their land. So, we could invest in Tzotzil. We yeah, can't do this. Requires integration motions. Well, we can still integrate them later on with if we have enough electricity. And we wouldn't have to lose like 20,000, 30,000, 5,000, 8,000 manpower. So, we did that. The mercenaries, what is that? The problem Guerreros de Honduras. Let's go ahead and do open up the world, where one of our economic problems has been re the refusal to trade with foreign countries and only relying on our own resources. While this was not so much of a problem in our early stages, now that our industry is expanding, it needs ever more resources to fuel it. And since we're not going to go to war with these guys, which is good, that actually helps us uh, make us so that we can go to war with Honduras, they have a couple divisions and quite a bit more manpower than our puppet down here. So, here's what we're going to do. Since we don't need to guard against them anymore, we will guard their lands with them for now. Uh, yeah, you come down there. Yeah, something's going on. I can't... Um, yeah, just right-click and drag. To show. I can't draw an offensive line for some reason. Uh, I might have some other map mode on, maybe? I don't know. If I have to manually control it, that wouldn't be... Yeah. Zero divisions. No, I... Eh, probably just a Hoi 4 glitch right now. So, 
at least just defend the lands for now. No worries. If I have to manually control everything, there's not that many divisions here, so. One, two, three, four. There you go. There you go. Unless there's another place I told them to guard. But I kind of doubt it. Whatever. War economy, more than 60% world tension. Well, we're not going to get there anytime soon. Political advisor, well, we might as well do that. Nice. Which means our spec ops can do something else now. Mm, I could still use more gen more armies. Because I could navally invade, or I could just like use these guys to strategically attack down here. But then that does leave this area open if I were to attack. Now, oh, special forces expansion, nice. Infantry stuff, well... Last time I did go Elite Weaponry, and I won't actually be able to get over there, so... Excuse me. Power Weaponry? Nah. Common Energy Weapons versus Common Weaponry. Well, let's see. Defense the same, same soft attack, same... That's... Uh, common Weaponry has better reliability, as well as better production costs, but slightly less piercing, slightly less heart attack, and more breakthrough. I want more breakthrough, so we're going to go with that. So... Um, yeah, go with basic weaponry. Thank you very much. The Liberator? What is that? Hello there. Boost attack and defense on core territory by 5%. Interesting. Decrease war justification time by 40%. Now, that's interesting. Ooh, looks like these guys are gearing up for war. Reduces the effect of enemy partisans by 20% because they're buried in paperwork, okay? 5% bonus to construction. Interesting. Annex war goal against the Vice Royalty. Alright. Reclaim Homeland. Um, that's not good. The Flowerless War. So we better be ready to fight against Nueva Aztlan at any time. Let's see. Open up the world. Good. Give me some more infantry. I just want to make sure that we have enough infantry for now. Yeah, they're only 10, 10 combat width for the most part, but that's better than nothing. Especially if we have to fight in the jungle here. Uh, military production, we're already good on that. Infrastructure's pretty good. Open. Oh, an extra research slot could be very, very useful. Very, very, very useful. Further the fleet, the mercenaries. Well, let's do this. Sharing the Caribbean with us are the Guerreros de Honduras, a militant nation whom border us at land and by sea. Given their position to the south of our nation, it can be said that we are their key to Mexico and North America. With these warlike types, the possibility of expansionism is high, and we must assure peace between our nations if we wish it to be secure. How many ships do they got? Because they have a little bit of manpower. They have quite a few divisions and no ships. Okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. Personal bodyguards. Commandant Luis. Alright, yeah. That doesn't seem to me... Oh, the problem of Eros de Con... Guerreros de Honduras. Our relationship with Guerreros de Honduras has always been complicated whilst they do important work in keeping our southern border, and by extension most of Mexico, free of raiders flooding up from Central and Southern America that often sell the, their services to our enemies. On more than one occasion, a battle that should have been an easy win turned into a lengthy slog thanks to the arrival of Honduran mercenaries. Therefore, it might be worthwhile enforcing our political dominance over them to ensure their fighters never work for enemy hands. Alternatively, we could attempt to enter a military alliance with Guerreros de Honduras, ensuring that they can continue to fend off raiders without Aslan or any other player getting involved. Hmm. So, we want them as allies, or do we want them as servants? Subjugation or foreign alliance? Well, we could marry them, and I don't want to do that. My woman don't need Commandant Luis. Hmm, a subject of strength. I demand subservience. Let's see. The work is admirable. Let's offer an alliance. Now, nah, leaving an independent state on the border of our heartlands is too great of a risk. Let's try. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Yeah. Not worthy really allies. Cool. I did the right one this time, guys. I'm fit. I'm uh, one for one. Now, obviously, down here, that's not exactly ideal. So, actually, you know what? If we have to defend, I'll let you four defend this direction first. Yeah. I can manually control the war if I need to, so no worries. No worries. Yeah, I don't think... Alright, interesting battle plans for everyone. Alright. Zero divisions. Alright, well, let's see what happens. A few days left. Right, Bibink? That's right. Tahun is very popular. Very, very popular. 
She's the most popular woman in Chichen Itza. And it's still only 2278, so Tlaloc is still there for now, and it's pretty divided. Intellectuals, elites, as well as the people. Let's see. Unassigned divisions. Nice. We definitely keep throwing divisions up here against these guys. If anything, I can always take the soldiers off from Petro Chico. Who, I don't think they're going to go to war with anybody, which is good, so... Come down here, guys. Just in case. And, of course, we can't do any of that, but whatever. Oh, actually... Yeah, come over here. That'll be good. Our goal is to defend for now and see what happens. Humble servants. We demand subjugation. They are a threat to national security. Their borders with us at land and sea, presenting a pressing issue. It has become clear that the nation can never be persuaded into inaction, so if we were to move forward, they are, they are a problem to be solved. We must strike now or we're in the risk of... Something else I didn't read. Uh... Oh. Wait, what? It didn't... Wait, what? I'm pretty sure I... Did I click something? I might have clicked something. Did I... Oh, I might have clicked cancel. Are you kidding me? Are you... I'm not going to click enter. Okay, that was weird. I didn't mean to do that. If I did that, I don't think I did, but whatever. Um, right now, since we're going to use spec ops, they already have this, which is good. I, mm, I want to increase this to more special forces, but I only have 10 army XP. So my apologies for that. I didn't mean to get rid of that. Let's get some recon on these bad boys. That'll be good. There you go. There you go. Uh, over here, that'll be good. Go ahead and train yourselves as well a little bit. Uh, yeah, we, oh, we need some more support equipment. Cult of Personality, very nice. Next, we will do strong right flanks. We get 10% more breakthrough, which is great. Oh, they got a lot of divisions down in this one spot. Interesting. Very interesting. Navally. Let's see what happens. You guys, good enough for now. Do that. Everyone, do that. Repair. These repairs shouldn't take too long, so I'm not really worried about this too much. Two days, one days, and then... Oh, okay. So, Garros de Honduras agrees to terms. Honduran leadership has agreed today to our demands of l overlordship, no doubt encouraged by our troops mustering on their border. This is a significant political victory for Tejon Clara Guzman, showing that her aggressive foreign policy seems to be paying off. With any luck, it also makes the Atslan dogs think twice before con they consider an aggressive strike into our jungles, as Honduran jungle experience is renowned across the wasteland. I can't believe that worked. We say some mean words, and they might fold. I love it. Cool. Um, so, we could do Subject of Strength. We might do that later. Invest in Honduras. We'll do that later, probably. Uh, ooh, shaky status quo. Ooh, what is over here? Recast the Ejercito. Ooh. Interesting. Support the Ejercito. But we can't do that. Expel them. Oh, wow. Oh, we can also do Support the Mero de Adoros. Ooh. Mass conscription. Enforced discipline. Okay, but we can't do that, obviously. Um, enable editing of the division template and training or disbanding units belonging to it, which is good. That's not bad. Spec Ops gain more attack and defense and movement speed inside rough terrain. Nice. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Encourage officer promotion. That's good as well. Regimental pride, which we wouldn't be able to do since we can't do this. And, yeah. Re recast the Ejercito. Destroy officer careerism. Interesting. And then... One of the following, land bonus research doctrines, stuff like that. Ooh, we can't do that, which would be interesting to do, but whatever. Can't do that, Ooh, that would be kind of good. The art of war, can't do that. Streamline military industry, which is okay, and elite force, interesting. So, um, let's do, let's choose our next thing that we're going to do. Question of Atsalan. We could go to war with Atsalan. Um... We can get to civilized stuff at, during the war with Atsalan. So, I want to go to war with them as soon as possible at this point. So, we're going to go with the question of Atsalan next. But really, we have to further the fleet. If we were to become a greater power and exert our military might upon those who rival us, we must have supremacy at sea, just as we do on land. Our ships must be improved from the holes we use to our methods of staffing and arming our vessels. So, we will do that. I will not try to click the enter button anymore when looking over stuff. And we actually have two puppets under us. Uh, and under us? Under us. Tierra de los as well as Luis Commandant, or Commandant Luis in the Guerreros de Honduras. So anyways, guys, we didn't do a whole lot here, but we have been expanding just a little bit. So 
with that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Tell me hello there in Discord if you haven't joined the Discord already. And I will see you tomorrow as we will begin moving against Nueva Atlan and their caffeinated puppet. Thank you very much, and I will see you all tomorrow, and have a great, great day.